question, please, because it's from the question we can have a good interactive section for this class. I know it's it might look very, very complex to some, but that is what science is recently dragging us hard. Now, Please take a correct order to the existing website. Uh, not whole. You just have some. Yeah. It, on our website, too, we have some, too, because we also look for websites. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was asking uh, do we, uh, what are the further courses on these? internship currently now we don't have an internship for clinical bioinformatics we are just running up some internship pro program now so we're going to start another one on bacteria bioinformatics internship virtual virtual and it's friday saturdays we're going to have for metagenomics and it's going to take for three months then we're going to have for molecular talking and structural biology for three months and then we're going to have for designing of mrna vaccine for three months so these are the upcoming um virtual internship that hopefully by next week the advert should be out and unluckily for us to we have limited slots we have limited slots, like not more than 50 15 for each of the cohorts, so that our teaching assistant will be able to work extensively on them. You just follow us on our LinkedIn or our Twitter or our Instagram on our thread to see most of these um, uh, invites. Now, what which genetic test is carried out to determine variance in a patient? To determine a variance in a patient, it's also dependent on the clinical query because there is a diagnosis that has been done and there is something you are looking for. Not that unless you are just interested in normal screening and that is what you can just do that one. So you can do your full genomic profiling if you do your genomic profiling, then it enables you to have understanding of predictive medicine to know the disease that is likely you have. Then if there are ways you can change your lifestyle, then it will enhance all those genes not to be expressed because that is where we talk about epigenetics, the expression of certain genes in relation to the environment, what we eat, what we do, our exercise. Yeah, that's just it. Yeah. Somebody asks, do we have sequencing platform in Nigeria? We do and we do not. I know companies that if you take your sample to them, they will help you with. And that is what Elix also is doing now. We have some collaborators outside the country and we've been helping people to do some sequencing of their isolates for now. And at a reasonable price, then help in the analysis put them through with the analysis come some will come down to the lab to be trained on those uh, things can we have a link to the part of the website that comprises all the database you don't really have a particular link that have all the database we were able to get some of these databases uh, based on our experience and the way we have been working in the lab for some quite numbers of years so that is how we have to get that. And those some databases are existing on our website too. That if you go to www.elixbiogeninstitute.org, if you look at bioinformatics tools, you can look at a lot of databases that are there that we have extracted out for.
laptop going to Google, they just go through, you can click on them and get access to those uh, sites. And even to by the end of this year, Elix is also launching a bioinformatics tool that we have developed for us. It was developed from here and uh, we are happy to launch the tool and it's going to be free for everybody to use to enhance their research. And just to let you know that being an African doesn't mean Africa scientists does not have something great to actually contribute to uh, the society. It really take, took us some time before doing that, but we thank God to the team of scientists working here in the lab, especially to make the narrative uh, to change. So the tool will be available for everybody to use. And that is how we are actually working hard on this part. Yeah, how much is the internship? I cannot tell you for now because it will work. Uh, yeah. yeah. Somebody said, could you please help us with the structure of curriculum to identify which training pipeline uh, would be appropriate based on our respective discipline? Uh, we, we, we try what we can do. Uh, to try what we can do to uh, to help in that line because some of the time is always very complex uh, and that is how we get it uh, how will I say it's very complex because it's not a single pipeline but we, we, we will work with the method we can do uh, like, like those who have paid we have some materials we are sending to them that we enhance their, their their screening and their training of what to do. A lot of questions are coming. I'm trying. Yeah, if, if you need about whole genome sequencing, please just the number we have on the flyer, just call it. We will give you the price of what we have at hand. Can you give us a link to the website where we can check out articles and general clinical bioinformatics? For those who have P2, by the time the certificate, all those things will be added and given to them by God's grace. What that tool will be used for, once you see the tool, the tool are, the function of each of the tool has been splitted out so you can look at it. But you need to be well grounded in the theoretical background. How much the certificate that has been in the message sent to Tazanera, the link there is there. Anybody that doesn't have the payment done today, please don't bother to pay because the link will not be going. We need some, we have some other things we are doing and trying to, yeah. Someone is talking about AI, artificial learning. Yes, we have what we call artificial learning in clinical sciences coming up now. Yeah, we, we have it. And we have it's an algorithm is is a branch in bioinformatics where you have your going to learn a procedure after some time and do it so can or can anybody also hold a training for that we don't hold training immediately in Alice. we do training on feet and area where we have excel because we don't do everything so for us to hold the training we have a lot of things we are doing on ai but we want it to reach a certain level before we go to so for now we are not doing a high training it's still in house for now yeah yeah so about application by from artificial disease and clinical settings especially in low and middle income country yeah, it can be adapted as long as those settings, as that's what NCDC is doing in Nigeria, and that's what CDC is doing, able to track pathogen, able to uh, synchronize what is wrong somewhere, help in contract tracing, help in informed choice of drug to be used. So the, the only thing we have that is a problem now is the manpower. Do we really have people that have the capacity we have the structure on the ground, and because there is low manpower in Africa, that is the essence of discipline training. 
and we are doing this sensitization to allow people to know that this is another area where all of us can venture into to make life become more better for us in the future. Yeah, in the on-site workshop, let us aware we have any such. Uh, can you please send in the record of the lecture because I wasn't active throughout and I have to do that. Mm. How can we pay for the certificate? Everything is inside the email. What's even be put into the website? By formatics and by formatics. Perfect. The difference between introductory clinical bioinformatics is generally bioinformatics. It's not the clinical setting. So bio clinical bioinformatics is application of bioinformatics in clinical setting because bioinformatics is applied in various settings. You can do it in agriculture. You can do it in mining. Anywhere you talk about it, you can do it. But now we are talking about, if you see what we've been talking about, we're talking about disease, vector disease, we're talking about cancer, we're talking about genetic genetic makeup. Like I, I can talk about kidney disease. That's where the last time I presented, I was showing us the uh, use of uh, detecting of a particular variant that is causing still bad in female. And the first presentation tool, I talk about um, azospermia. So you, you can see that we are leveraging on bioinformatics in the clinical setting in order to enhance our clinical decision to make the life of our patient to be more better than what it was before. Yeah, I think I have been able to answer the question. Please. Yeah. For us who are online presently, please, can you on your camera if it is possible? I want to take a group picture now because we are still on there. Can you hold your camera if it is possible, please? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, my name. Okay. I'll I'll do that. Just in a few minutes. Let me take the picture. I'm coming, please. I have to retake. Mm. Let me retake, please. Yeah. Thank you. I am taking that. Thank you. And someone asked that what is my name? My name is Dr. Ladipo Kolaole. So I'm one of the founder of Elix Biogen Institute here in Nigeria, and we are trying to build capacity in the area of bioinformatics, genomics generally. We venture into developing of products. Uh, we, our track record was a candidate with an excellent vaccine candidate that we made that was captured by WHO, uh, which makes we are the second person in the whole Africa at that time. And we keep measuring, we keep moving on on other things we're doing. We've been working extensively on training of students. And our students, yeah, our students have traveled from far and near for biomedical skills acquired. And currently, we have more than 10 of our students that have landed in scholarship outside the country based on the skills that they've acquired here. And that is what we're doing. And currently, we are also developing diagnostic kits in the Institute for some of the entities. We have most of our partners from within and outside the country. So I'm Dr. Ladiko Kolawoli. Also, I'm a staff at Adeliki University in the microbiology department where I work. I was previously the head of the department. So that is what we do at Elix. And we are open to collaborations, co-application for grants. 
for work, for studies. And we take students in for IT and intern at a reasonable price because to support the training reagent. We train students on molecular biology, bioinformatics, passing design. We have animals facilities here. Students have been taken through how to run everything. Uh, for people working in cancer genomics, what we are doing on cancer here is that we are just designing therapeutic peptides for cancer. We don't go into drugs for now because to look at our setting, if you design a drug and you don't test in animal, it's still useless. So what we do in Ellis is basically translational research. We have a lot of publication that is going out there that when it gets to real life, it's filled. So what we are trying to do, we are trying to combine dry lab and wet lab together here. So we are hoping to collaboration. And a quite number of our students are publishing quite highly impact paper that are in this in scopus, which allow them to move ahead. I will work on the investment plan too, and that is how we roll it here in Alex. And Alex is located in Ubumosho, Oyo State, Nigeria, a secondary community where people think. Yeah, do you work on vector biology? Not really. We don't work on vector biology, but we work on apple viruses. I think that for now we've been able to work with uh, uh, Nigerian vector something something in uh, Enugunde. We've been of help to them. So we have some quite number of researchers to work with at Naima. Yeah, we don't have any other branches except Okunosho for now because it's not easy to set up a lab in multi uh, states. The keeping a lab is not something small, and we are a private organization that we are trusting God for everything. Somebody said I've not answered his question. Please, doctor, if not answer my question, I don't have forgotten your question. We don't have any lab. Yeah, I said on cancer genomics, what we work on now is therapeutic peptide. So we don't work on drug because we look at the cost. If you want to synthesize your drug, it's thrown to some millions of dollars. We have done it in the past. So we synthesize, we work on something that we are capable of being here in Africa. Not a science that we start in Africa, have to go and put in in US or UK. So we know that if we work on therapeutic peptide, getting the money to synthesize, do the practical everything in an African soil is something that we can do. So I think this is just an introductory class to clinical bioinformatics. For us to go for a detailed training, you can go to any platform. You see that they are in the training. The way we do training in LH is not that people to come to our training. No, you can go to any platform you feel you can go for to be more educated. To be more educated. So, and I want to appreciate everyone for joining. We promise to end before two because I, I just, I have to, 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 to hand the call here. The materials will be sending to us. We give us more updates on what and what to do. So what we have explained, by the time we are reading those materials, we will be able to have understanding of what we have really discussed with us. So we look forward to immunoinformatics, to bioinformatics, and to neuroinformatics by this week. How do I get the full training? This, uh, you can only get specialized training. Once we do it, that we release training how
Yeah, so you can just get uh, other trainings on other platforms that will be of uh, great help to you. We can't do all. If you want to do clinical and performatics, you need an extensive training, minimum of three to six months. Minimum of three to six months. So that your inf the informed decision you'll be making will be very, very accurate and that will be any problem. So I, I think measure metagenomics training will it be discussed in clinical line. Yeah, metagenomics training will be discussed in clinical line. That, that, that's the way it's going to be how to make some informed decision on based on metagenomics. I have one of my students that we just work now. It will work on asphyxia units. And we are looking at the metagenomics part of it. And the result we had was fantastic results. Very, very interesting one. So these are things that uh, bioinformatics is bringing on the table of all of us who are in biomedicals. So I think I've been able to answer all questions. Yeah, the chat group is there. We keep letting you know how things go. For everyone I've joined, we are so grateful and happy that the time we have spent uh, is not a waste. We have added value to you. We have exposed you to other things. Thank you, and see you another good time. We look forward to having your feedback, what we need to improve on, what we need to hide.